So we're going to draw blood for an IgG test. And one of the uh, locations to draw blood is under the tail. The others are inside the leg or from the neck. Um, not everyone is um, comfortable um, drawing from the neck. So we're going to do the tail. Uh, this young fellow um, is a proving Lancaster son, by the way. Um, he is a uh, week and a half or so old, so he's a little older than you might do at home. Uh, but this is for demonstration purposes, how to do the acquisition of blood. The first thing we want to do is get a warm, wet um, compress or cloth. And the purpose is to cleanse the area, but the warmth is to open the capillary action under the uh, surface of the skin. So we're working at the base of the tail above the anal opening. So once we have that nice and clean, um, there's a couple ways to acquire the blood. Um, there are what's called a micro lancet, which is a small lancet that uh, it makes a small incision, like so. And then um, there's the um, syringe. This is a 20 gauge syringe. So we're going to use the uh, lancet first. There is a safety cover on this, so we'll remove that. And there is a small knife in there. By depressing this and releasing this, um, it releases the knife in a spring-loaded way that uh, brings the knife out and retracts it very quickly. And it's not visible. It can't be seen, but it works very quickly, makes a small incision. And then we'll use what's called a micro to uh, scoop the blood. And on the edge of that, there is a scoop that we'll use to pick up the droplets of blood. So we'll start by making a small incision, and this little guy is pretty lively. And um, we're going to go um, above the anal opening, base of the tail, and make sure not to bend the tail over too far. It could restrict the blood. But uh, right here in this um, thin, fleshy area, and then one may need to palpate to get the blood going and keep it flowing. And then as the blood comes out, we can scoop it up. Now we only need um, 500 microliters of blood, which is a very small amount of blood, in order to run an IgG test. So there's one method, and I did not get a whole lot of blood. The other alternative is in a very similar location is to use a 20 gauge syringe and by uh, using the syringe and now of course the blood is flowing by using a syringe in this area you can create a hole and then scoop up the blood that flows. So those are the two methods of acquisition. All right, Roy, you can let your buddy go.